Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Hashtag Behind Relationship Goals. I'm Bones. And I'm Fofo. <sighs> Alrighty, we are back on track. And you know, we've Two had- weeks straight. Two weeks straight. Two weeks straight. Congratulations. Did I, did I are we committing to this? Yes. We should. We have a team. We are committing like a relationship here. Yeah. We are married to this podcast, so we should not let it down. Okay, so we will try not to let you down. And <laughs> we will have episodes every week for the rest of the year. You got to claim it. Claim, i-claim na natin siya. Fine. I-claim na natin siya. <sighs> So, since Fofo and I have been, you know, getting back into the grind of work, we've had a couple of interviews, and one of our most recent ones was an interview with Tito Boy, and we talked a lot about relationships. Pero may nagtrend kasi show. na question sa yo. Yes, yung question na nagtrend doon is what will you do if one of us cheats in the relationship? And I answered, break na tayo. Mm-hmm. And with yari. that, because of that, they inspire kami to make an updated podcast episode about cheating. We did have a previous episode about cheating, pero syempre, like, we were very... Things change. You know, things change. May nag-cheat char, walang nag-cheat sa <laughs> Malay natin, there might be a reveal. Right. Cheating reveal podcast. Hello? <laughs> grabe. Grabe yan. Medyo ano, intense naman yata yung ganon. But aside from that, we will be talking about a more in-depth uh, take on cheating. And so, a different take. I, I, I think I've changed. I think you've changed also since that la- last podcast. Mm-hmm. So for the viewers since before pa, let us know if any of our opinions change and we'll also put in the com ay, we'll also put in the caption the link to that episode so you guys can get a feel of how we used to discuss this topic before i'm curious i'm so curious i, I completely forgot how we used to discuss this okay so let's backtrack a bit do we have experience with one cheating and two being cheated on oh are you looking at the microphone? No, I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, so you're, you're thinking so high into the sky. I have to look deep into the sky. Parang wala. For either. Like, you've never cheated and you've never been cheated on. I'm trying to think also of like, yung mga, alam yung technical, yung parang... No, 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 no. Just, just don't even okay, think Okay, off technical. the top of my head, no. Okay. I've never been cheated on and I've never cheated. What's up? But that's off the top of my head. Now, alam mo yung everyone has many different de- definitions. We of will cheating. get into definitions of cheating later on. I then just I think to... the answer to that is a yes. What? <laughs> okay, I'll get, we'll okay, discuss later. We will discuss later. All right. So for me, one, I've never cheated. But you've been cheated on. Um, it's a theory. <laughs> I just remembered. It's though. not confirmed. <laughs> no, I just remembered. That. Sorry, I just remembered. No, no, nga pala, no. Isa mong relationship. <laughs> Out of X number of relationships. We yeah. won't... Yeah. Kasi hindi naman natin alam. So, obviously, wala kami masyadong experience when it comes to cheating. But, wait, wait, but, but, wait. But, 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 You are discrediting our experiences. In cheating, I said yes. Yes, okay. Get to a certain you. extent. But we also have friends. And when we discuss with our friends, some of them may <coughs> have been through something like this. Maybe we had to comfort a friend that went through some sort of cheating in the relationship, whether they were the ones that did it or they were the one, na, parang quote unquote victim. True. We are older now. I'm 35. Bonizi is 32. And hey. <laughs> because we're older, we have more friends who have also been through life and experienced life. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, some of them have gone through situations where there was a cheater and a cheaty. Yes, exactly. So, anong tawag dito? We've had to go through those things and I guess it's also changed our perspective a little bit. Uh-huh. You know how you grow and things happen around you and things just naturally evolve. And I think that's also why I really wanted to do this episode. So, I chose this topic because I felt like I wanted to know also and get updated on Bonizi. We haven't talked about this recently. So. And I think aside What's from... Up? Aside from us talking about our own experience and like the whole general talk- topic about cheating, I think later on in another episode, let's talk about what happens if you find your friend cheating on their partner. Na okay. Will you oh, tell I them? like that. Okay, we can okay, do that okay. in another episode. But for now, we're going to talk about cheating in general. So, like you said, Kanina, your answer was yes to maybe 
cheating or having been cheated on but it depended on the situation situation or the definition so yes. we're gonna define the different kinds of cheating that we all might come across so number one i'll go first physical cheating i was just gonna say why so physical cheating would involve like i mean obviously like a romantic kind of uh the cheating. act the act of bebe making yes <laughs> that is definitely like Ekis kana sa akin jo ganon. Okay, okay. Ekis kana. Yeah, yeah. Bye bye, babu. Wala kana sa buhay ko. I haven't really had to think about it. I just don't think. Why? Now that I think about it, I'm like, yeah, it sucks, but I'm just that confident that you and I are not gonna cheat. Yeah, physically. I'm also confident. That's why I'm like, yeah, whatever. But chempre, like when you were younger, de ba? Like when you had ah, okay, a relationship good, good point. when you were younger, chempre your commitment. Yes, you're committed to each other. Pero iba pa rin yung commitment na magasawa. Thank you for bringing that up. Okay, if I put myself in the mindset of before you, then yeah, if my significant other cheated, it's over, girl. It's over, girl. <laughs> Wali na. Girl, oh my Ayaw God. Ayaw ko na sa iyo. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I, I just want to dis, uh, distinguish like my previous mindset and my mindset now. Mm-hmm. My mindset with you is so far removed from like s- fears of cheating and uh-huh. everything. We've been together 13 years. I'm looking to like different things. Yeah, yeah, of course. So just to make that distinction. And I think I'll try to expound on that a bit more because I, I think it's a very freeing mindset that I have with you right now. And that I hope that you have with me. I'm actually curious if you have that with me. Oh, I'm... Well. The same and i just want to you know pick out a little piece from our interview with tito boy and he mentioned there that people are human they make mistakes but our rebuttal to that was you have a choice if you want to make that mistake diba? let's get into that okay. you know because i have i have an expanded thought about that idea yeah because i'm not saying that Okay, yes, some people do go astray and then they might develop feelings for someone. Pero yun nasa isip ko, hindi ba pinipili mo to choose to go down that path? Like if somebody was texting okay, we'll, you or... We'll was... get to that, we'll get to that. But I think you got sidetracked. We're still trying to define the different kinds oh, of cheating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we said physical. Okay. okay uh, we discussed in the previous episode emotional. Emotional is another form of cheating. Yes. Emotional cheating. Yes. And then we were scouring the web and apparently there are other different kinds of cheating. Yeah. Iba pa, so what iba did you pa. find, Bonizi? Okay, so the other one that I found, well, this is more um, recent, of course, yung online or virtual cheating. Tama. And especially, lalo na para sa mga, no, lahat naman tayo na, ano, na lock in. Yeah. Diba? Yeah. We were locked in our homes and I now remember stories of some friends na, they went through virtual or online cheating. Kasi meron pang ano yun eh, parang you have the classification of online virtual cheating and some of it involves emotional cheating, yeah. some involve physical cheating pero online. Tama. So, so may combo cheating na may pala. May combo. <laughs> Ka- bam, bam, emotional bam. virtual cheating that yeah. leads to Physical, physical cheating. cheating. Three-hit combo yun. Oh, wow, three-hit hasen. combo. Hasen. Tapos yung pinakabago na nahanap namin was micro-cheating. Don't me. Micro-cheating. So, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Am I a micro-cheater then? Well. No, okay, because we read the definition and it's like... Wait, let's read the definition right go now. Go for it. The definition of micro-cheating is <gasps> this type of cheating involves subtle or seemingly innocent behaviors that violate the boundaries of the committed relationship. Examples of micro-cheating can include hiding communication with someone, secretly following or liking posts of an ex-partner or crush <laughs> on social media, or keeping secrets about one's whereabouts or activities. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, I don't think that we're micro-cheaters. Maybe in the definition, <laughs> no, okay. in this definition, we aren't. But in other people's eyes, we might be. Yeah, we, I know Both exactly. of us are micro Isn't this so difficult? Like I think, like I think we are over informing or over defining things to the point that Everything. everyone, to a certain extent, could fit in certain boxes. 
And I'm like, oh, but okay, for the sake of just following this definition, then okay, we're micro cheaters. What can we do now? We're micro cheaters. Because <laughs> from the okay, now I say that, <laughs> but on a more serious note, I say that because it seems like the definition is if you look at someone's IG account and you find them cute and like their post because you found them cute, then that's micro cheating. I think though, when it comes to very specific things like this, you know, micro cheating. I think it depends on the relationship now. Because for us, I you've mean, been cheating on Jin this whole time. I know. <laughs> I've been liking your post and then I'm cheating on him, Char. <laughs> so, Hi. I mean, and you follow and like girls also that I appreciate as well, but that isn't necessarily cheating to us. Diba? That's us appreciating. Yeah. And well, I, I'm fine with that. I'm fine. Okay, so okay, so I mean, uh, to us, you know, there's a there's a tinge of like, in a way, comedy in our situation <laughs> yeah. because, yeah. I mean, we do it so naturally, and all of a sudden we see this definition and we're like, huh? okay, based on this, we're defined as micro cheaters. However, let's take another look at this. Let's be a bit more serious about it. If we look at this from the perspective of someone else or another relationship. There are relationships that I'm sure take micro cheating extremely oh, seriously. Yeah, definitely. They take it to heart and then nasasaktan yung mga tao within the relationship. I feel though, kaya napupunta doon sa point na yon is because did your partner give you a reason to feel that way? Like yeah. what if this partner was liking posts of this girl? Like yeah, she's pretty, pero yung pala may history sila. Shepre for the partner, like, kunari, you like a photo of a girl that you had a fling Baka with. Simula na yun ng... I'm like, okay, so what does that mean? And then I would ask you, parang, is there something that I should know? Na, why are you liking this girl's post? Are you talking to her? But it gives you like an inkling na, I mean, is there something I should be looking out for? Gotcha. You know what, Bones, now that you, th- now that you say that, I think, at least if I were to put myself in someone's shoe, who really takes micro cheating seriously? Mm. Then I think I would feel that way because hindi buo yung trust ko doon sa partner. Yes, and because also, any like and then diba you're looking at your partner's sini mga like uh-uh, nilang fo- uh-uh. po- photo posts and you're like, bakit nilain like niya to? Eh dati kasi may nilain like siya, tapos it turned into something. Yeah. So yeah. I can imagine how that trail of thought can really scare someone. And really drive a wedge in someone's relationship. And based based on the definition of a micro cheating that we read, it's when you're hiding something from your partner, which we discuss. Now, when you start hiding things and you're not honest with your partner, you don't know where it could lead up to because yeah. you're you're doing lie upon lie upon lie, and it builds up. And then when your partner finally finds out that you've been lying like this, kahit na small lies, they all add up together. And eventually, yeah. it becomes something big. Hindi mo na alam kung saan napunta yung usapan nyo ng tao na nilalike mo yung photos na yan. So I can understand also why some people would be upset about things like that. Yeah, so definitely now that we're taking the, the concept of micro-cheating a bit more seriously, I think it's... In my opinion, I think it's just a sign of deeper issues. Mm. That sana micro cheating shouldn't be an issue in itself. Like on the surface level, it shouldn't be. Yeah. But I think because the foundation of maybe the relationship isn't that good, or maybe my parang cracks in the foundation mm-hmm. or previous trauma, that is why something that should be more surface level, like I mean, it's technically just liking like. something digitally. So if there is a problem already with like social media stuff like example liking or like secret messaging there might be a deeper uh problem to this yeah at least that's what i think so we discussed all the different kinds of cheating (laughs) from our research um and then i want to go back to our chica with tito boy because it's it's at the back of my head eh? and people were always commenting na oh yeah tama si megan like once a cheater, always a cheater. Di ko na babalikan yan. And Tito Boy said na, okay, people are human. They make mistakes. What's your answer to that? And you said you wanted to expound on it. My answer to that has grown over the years because actually, I think I was the first person in this relationship since ako naman yung mas Mm-mm. open when yeah. we were younger. 
I was the one who said, dude, if there's cheating in this relationship, it's un- it's over. Yeah. It's done. Let's just not play that game that mm. someone's cheating, we forgive, and then param we get back together, and then mauulit, and then Was this when we were boyfriend off. and girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. This was like the first two years pa lang parang nabanggit ko na to agad eh. Kasi I just didn't want to have to go through that because I guess I would see other friends and yeah. other relationships and I was like, I don't think I want to go through that on-off kind of thing. Also, we we had a discussion then before na if ever you felt like you were at the point of cheating na, just break up with me. Yes, we. Oh my God, I for, completely forgot about that Just break up with promise. me. Don't yeah. even like do the act and say sorry later on. Break up with me then and there if you feel like it isn't right. Then maybe I'm not the partner for you. <laughs> just to share, I think I shared this in the previous podcast. I literally told Bones now, Bones, if I'm gonna cheat on you, I'm just gonna call you up first, ten minutes before the deed, and say Bones, we're breaking up, and then like. To be fair, never naman yung ginawa. Never gonna so, man ginawa yun, but I was just trying to com- uh, comedically drive the point home. Yeah, medyo, but I can I can understand how if you told somebody else that and they you said na yeah I'm not gonna cheat on you but I'm just gonna break up with you before something happens like they'll be like, huh? <laughs> Lambo. Okay, but anyway, so back to the question that you're asking me to expound. Ah uh, on... wait, but to prove your point, I honestly I would rather that happen then you cheat on me and say sorry later on mas masasaktan ako okay cool yeah cool but we're beyond that we're yeah. married what can i do we're forever <laughs> time forever okay anyway uh let me expounding on that so you stick to your guns you're sticking to your guns and saying that if there's cheating that occurs in this relationship then it's over mm. but i'm also very well aware that there are many other situations that can arise if cheating occurs. Mm-hmm. Now, you might end up just saying, no, but I love you and I still want to be with you. And even though you did something really wrong, even though our relationship is going to be messed up, am I going to allow this one act to destroy 13 years of a relationship? Do I want to have to invest in another person this much effort and time yeah. just because this one mistake was made? I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm being honest. These, yeah. I'm sure that these are thoughts that a lot of other people think about. So, is there a point in our relationship where sobrang bulletproof na because of the fact that we've been together for so long, now you're like, oh, whatever, even if you cheat, I'm just gonna take you back. I'll be mad at you, we're gonna have big problems, but I'm gonna forgive you. I, I, I'm aware that I think that could happen. I don't know if I'm at that point, yeah, yeah. I don't I know if you. I'm at that point. I get you. But I'm aware. I'm aware of this. Right? What, if, what if it happens at a point where I feel, you know, nothing? Right? I feel like I don't have anything and you're all that I have. Hopefully it doesn't happen. But I can imagine myself saying, yeah, okay, she cheated. But right? you feel down and mm-hmm. to a certain extent pathetic, quote unquote. Yeah, I, don't, I also don't know if I'm there. Because ang nasa isip ko, while you were saying all these things... I remembered my parents. Now, when they first broke up, sure, kami as kids, gusto namin sila pa rin. But we don't know their. We didn't know at that point their relationship and what they could handle together as a couple, as magasawa, as parents to us. So, ang nasa isip ko lang nun, But you have to be together. You're our parents. Like you can't separate. But sure, di ko naman alam yung extent nila bilang tao, bilang individuals. So they tried it out. It just didn't work out for them. But I do know a lot of people that, and these are people that are, you know, dear to me, and they're like family. Yung mga kakilala ko na to, that they have been through some sort of cheating in their relationship. But and they were deeply, deeply hurt. But they decided to stick it out. Yeah. So it, ako hindi mo rin masisisi yung ibang tao kung bakit yun din ang piniri nila. Kasi, syempre, yun din yung commitment nila sa isa't isa. And because you shared that, I think it's a good time to drive the point home that we're sharing our experiences and opinions, but by no means are they the only experience oh, and yeah. opinions out yeah. there. So parang, I think it's just nice to be able to hear a conversation from someone else Mm-mm. and Mm-mm. just hear the different perspectives because it's such a taboo topic that isn't talked about openly, that to hear different perspectives, I think, can help you think through your own personal situations i feel like i'd love to hear about a perspective one from somebody that's around our age that's also but has thoughts like this like what would i do if this happened 
I'd also like to hear from somebody that is older and wiser and has been through their relationship throughout the years. Like now that you're at this point, which we said we haven't been, we don't think we're at that point yet. Na parang matatanggap lang kita kahit na ano mangyare. Yeah. Ano ba yung naging experience at thought process nila para mapunta sila don? What happened? Okay, so I I don't I I think it's different for everyone, but for me, now that I think about that situation more, I think there is one factor that will play heavily into me deciding to take you in, even though you cheated on me, oh. and that's if my mental or emotional situation is low. So let's say parang I'm kind of like depressed or feeling down. I think that I would end up just saying no, don't go, even though, you know, you cheated. However, if I'm feeling motivated and I'm high on life, I'm in a good place. Ah, no, bye bye, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I think that matters. I think your mental and personal state matters, de ba? Because, siempre kung kampante ka, you're feeling confident, mm. you're feeling good. Life is throwing good things at you, and you're like that one. Fart that comes in. Yeah, you'll be like, I don't need you in my life. I don't want this. I don't yeah. want to have to deal with this kind of yeah. negativity coming from you. Yeah. So I, I think that is one huge factor that would play out. Okay. Very, very interesting. Right? I don't know. I mean, yeah. I'm just thinking. I don't know. Maybe if it happens in real life, like it happens completely differently, and I think completely different things and feel completely mm. different things. But when I try to think about it, those are the thoughts that come out. I mean, it's like when people say na you take out the toxic people in your life, and even though it's hard, sometimes you have to do it. Yeah. I mean, that's not an easy thing to do. Yeah, you and if you're about... down and somewhat depressed, I mean, it's impossible to do to a certain extent. Yeah. Now that we've talked about this, there's one question which I wanted to ask. Okay. Is cheating inevitable? And the reason why I ask that is because. We have friends, and we've seen on TV and interviews, people say na ah, yung mga lalaki, wala ganyan talaga, eh. ng bababai talaga sila. So to a certain extent, I know it's not in our relationship, but in many other relationships, it would it's, seem it's that expected. parang okay yung mga girls, yung mga wives, parang or yung mga girlfriends, parang expected nila, na ganyan kasi talaga yung mga malal- mga lalaki. Dapat ready ka na lang para dun pag na. So I don't, I understand. I understand that there are many different kinds of couples, different kinds of perspectives. And I can now see now that, you know, I've met so many different kinds of people. I can now see why some people would think that. Because for some dudes, it's just part of their psyche. It's part of how they grew up. Like yeah. that's how that's it's what, what they saw. It's what they 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 saw in their friends and maybe their relatives, their family. So yun yung alam nila. So akala nila okay talaga. How are you gonna beat that, right? I don't think it's inevitable because I honestly think that cheating is a choice. Gotcha. I really think so. Like at the end of the day, you choose to make these decisions to take you to that point where you end up either physically, emotionally cheating on your partner. Okay, food for thought. I understand where you're coming from. Obviously, I agree with you. But um, what if there was a person who grew up in an environment na that was normalized. Not, I don't want to say okay. Yeah, it was normalized. It was normalized because it just happened regularly. And parang yun yun nakita nila. nila. Oh, yun yun nakita niya. And then maybe he got into a workplace that was extremely toxic. Mm-hmm. Na yun yung ginagawa nila. So I was like, okay, how can you say na it's a choice? For them, when for them that choice is okay to, to choose. So I'm just saying, the right? parang I think we need to be more open to the fact that there are many different kinds of people. Yeah, get and that there are some people who are just exposed and grew up in this way. Mm-hmm. So that's just something I wanted to put out there. I'm not. I don't think there's a solution. I don't think I have an answer for that. But I'm just saying that as I've grown up, I've learned to meet different kinds of people and just be aware that even though there are values that we don't agree with it doesn't mean that they don't exist they're okay. out there but it also doesn't mean that that choice is right 
Okay, yeah. No, no, that's a different so part, side that's, of it. So that's a different side of it. Yeah. Now, yes, hindi just naman natin masisisi yung upbringing nila. That's yeah. for sure. And just or because like it was normalized still doesn't, doesn't mean, mean it's that, okay. That it's okay to do. So for me, that's my opinion. And if, hopefully, like if it's somebody that is close to me and dear to me and we can have a conversation about it, why not? Diba? Yeah. Just to drive this point home, Bonizi. Um, there could be a family who lives without computers and everything and so na brainwashing my kids thinking that one plus one is three. Right? Mm-hmm. Let's say maybe that's just what they thought. That's yeah. just what the family thought. They were not educated. They were like lived in, you know, the in, in a desert where there was just no technology. Mm. It doesn't make it correct. Yes. One plus one is will not never three. equal three. But maybe that's what they knew. Yeah. Maybe that's what they saw on a piece of paper and they said one plus one equals three. So I think that's what the point I'm trying to drive home. I don't, does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So just because cheating and other selfish acts are normalized for some people still doesn't mean that it's okay. Mm. Uh, yun nga lang, addressing that solution, that's the more complicated yeah. issue. And I don't know how to address that, to be honest. Well, but I just being, I think yeah. being aware of it is step one, maybe. Mm-hmm. And I mean, if you ever have a friend or someone know someone who is in that situation, then oof, oh, tough. That's another podcast. That's another episode podcast episode. So we're done talking about cheating, at least our expanded version and how we think about it now. But we have a new segment on the podcast. It's questions from the audience. <laughs> audience. So we have some really nice questions from the audience and uh, the audience shall not be named because this is a very sensitive topic. And it might have been questions that we got from Instagram or Twitter so we won't just put their usernames out there. But okay. thanks for the question. But anyway, here we go. Um, they sent in five questions. I want to try and answer all five questions. Oh, wow. Because they're really interesting. So the first question, I'm going to read it out. Where does the selfish mindset of cheating come from and why do people want what they can't have? Oh. It kind of reminds me of like, like, okay, you as a person, right? I was born with, well, wavy hair when I was younger and I was a bit light skinned, but I wanted curlier hair and I wanted to be tanner. Parang you always want what you can't have and people on the opposite side want the opposite of what they look like. Yeah, because people think the grass is greener on the other side. Yeah. Pero for me, I try to look at it from a perspective na like instead of wanting more than what I don't have, I look at more of the little that I have and expound on that. So whatever little that may be or whatever good that may be, maybe it's you, okay? So you are what I have. Yes, there are crushes that I might have. I have K-pop crushes all around, (laughs) but you are the person that I have. So I will cherish every single thing about you and treasure that. And maybe I will appreciate but it only goes as far as appreciation. Okay. But that's just me. All right, I'll answer the other question then. The other part of that question is where does the selfish mindset come from? Mm. And I think when you really just try to think about that question, it ends up being how is your relationship with your significant other? Yes, yes. Because if your relationship is great in all aspects, emotionally, physically, you're growing also. There's a sense of adventure and a sense of mystery in mm-hmm. your relationship. Wala ka namang ibang hanapin eh. Sa totoo lang. At least, I, I, that's me. Yeah. I can only speak for myself. So I think wala ka namang ibang hanapin. Hey. However, when, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> However, when, um, pag may pagkukulang, and it could be both parties' fault, one party's fault, let's say emotionally, may hinahanap ka. Mm. What if you find someone who gives you that emotional need? Okay. Diba? Or let's say uh, physically, you're still very curious about different deeds and acts. Okay. Diba? Then maybe you're not ready for a relationship because you want to explore these deeds and acts outside of your significant mm-hmm. other. Mm-hmm. So I think that is what leads to selfish mindset. And I think it's a lot of awareness for an individual to have. Mm. To know also. Now, not everybody is, is, is as introspective. Yeah. So I think that's a problem that anybody has to go through. Naman eh. diba? Parang maybe you get into a relationship early in your 20s or your mid 20s, 
But yun pala, medyo makulit ka pa rin. Ang dami mo pa rin curiosities na gustong Hindi malaman. Ka pala, ka so you have a relationship, but you also still like going out. And when you go out, you still like meeting other women. So the question is, why did you get into a relationship? Mm-hmm. So uh, that's my thing. I think the selfish mindset comes from not being able to know or be aware enough of yeah. what you want. Or if you're already in a relationship, baka may pagkukulang dun sa relationship that needs to be addressed. I think. Question number two. Once a cheater, always a cheater. <laughs> true or false? I would say, surprisingly, mostly true. Mostly true. Because wow, it's then. so hard to kick a habit. Sorry, huh? I mean, drugs, alcohol, sex, gaming addictions, mm. procrastinating. These habits are so hard to kick. They're insanely hard to kick. Bad diets. Staying on a diet. Mm. Parang sobrang hirap creating new habits and breaking bad habits. We all know that. Who hasn't tried breaking a bad habit? Yeah. So, at face value, once a cheater, always a cheater. Mostly true because I think cheating to a certain extent is a habit. It's a lifestyle or a mindset, right? So, it's hard, very, very hard to kick that. Yeah. And I don't think you should minimize how difficult it is to do that. Yeah. So, on surface level, answering that question, that's my answer. Yeah, on surface level, I would agree, yes. Um, yeah, I also know people that have done cheating once in their life, and that was it, and then they found their partner for life. Oh yeah, so there so, is... So, I, I feel like there are different levels. I'm not... Um, there is hope. Hopefully, but I mean, that doesn't discredit the fact that they cheated. So, parang, oh, tama, yun, okay. y- yun lang yung ano eh. But I mean... <laughs> so, parang, are you going to be super happy because they never cheated again? But at the same time, they still did cheat? So, I don't know. It's, it's a tough situation. Tama, here. okay. That's tricky. That's a tricky one. Well, we gave our, we gave our two one. cents, our, our thoughts. But next question. If you cheated on your partner but knew it was a mistake, would you tell them straight up or hope they never find out? Okay, we do this at face value and our answer is either tell them straight up or hide it. And we're going to answer sabay. Okay. Okay? So, oh, so wait, straight up or hide straight it? Straight up or hide it? Okay. Three, two, one. Straight, straight up. up. You have to face I wanted the to consequences. Say, I wanted to say hide it. Wow. Just so I could have like mystery. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, okay, whatever. Are we gonna expand on this? Um, no, no, no. I think I think everything we've discussed here backs up why we would tell each other straight up. I mean, the foundation of our relationship is honesty. So yeah, yeah. That's why it, that is our answer. Unless I suddenly change the foundation and make it adventure, then. This Hide is, it this is will not be my an answer. RPG. Not an RPG. Okay. Okay, but anyway, it's our life. <laughs> next question. Question number four. So what can you say about women being tamang hinala? <laughs> this is women's intuition, right? Why are you laughing? Okay, I've never asked Megan if she has women's intuition. <laughs> because I don't have women's <laughs> intuition. Zero? zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, you know, Megan's zero. She's so gullible. Let's, let's say I cheat and I told her, oh no, I was out shopping for goldfish. I would believe it. She would it. believe me. I would believe it. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Yeah, I don't even realize when somebody's flirting with me, so I have zero tamang hinala. Let's answer the question a bit more directly. Okay. I don't know if there is <laughs> women's intuition. I think I think it's not just women's intuition. I think it's intuition in general. When your partner is acting weird, they're acting out of the norm. Oh. Something is up. Okay, then yeah. Then yes. Yes. I agree then. There diba? is. There is intuition. And maybe because, you know, women are just a bit more aware or just a, a bit more grounded mm. that maybe they have you know, the mind space to be able to be aware and witness what is afoot and what mm. has changed. But you're right. People do act differently when they lie. People act differently when they cheat, when they do something wrong, even when they do something really good. Yeah. It's a poker hand, right? If yeah. you have like the best poker hand, I'm going to have a very hard time containing that. Like you give me like, I don't know what's the best one, like yeah. a royal flush. I'm exactly. like, ah, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, um... Yeah, like micro micro expressions. Mm. Some people are really good at reading micro expressions. 
Okay. So, okay, tamang hinala, I think, is true. Okay, so, yeah, interesting, interesting. And the last, I guess, loaded question that we have is, is it possible to repair a relationship after cheating? Yes. My answer is also yes, but it's a long, difficult road to get there, for mm-hmm. sure. And with that, we have come to the end of our podcast. That was really, really interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any stories to share, do so in the comment section. But with that, this is Hashtag Behind Relationship Goals. I am Fofo. And I'm Bones. Bye.